Okay guys, so once again there's a lot of criticism and a lot of things going on with the 2024 election. And I think it's going to be a little bit more crazy than the 2020 election. And Donald Trump still refuses to accept the results of the last election. What makes you think if he loses again, he will accept the 2024 election results? The thing is, everybody, is I'm not a Donald Trump supporter. I'm not a Kamala Harris supporter. I'm especially not a Joe Biden supporter. But what I support is the Constitution. And what I support is our freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and everything and all the amendments in the Bill of Rights of the Constitution of the United States of America. And yes, I'm a U.S. citizen. I was born and raised in America. Just because I'm white doesn't mean I'm European. That's like saying someone who's black is African, even though they're an American too and they were born and raised in the United States. Just because our ancestors were a certain race doesn't mean everybody else is. Which means, yes, you might say it may belongs to the Native Americans. Stolen land this, stolen land that. But you know the United States is not the only land that was stolen. A lot of other lands were stolen too, but no one talks about it. U.S. this, U.S. that. I understand. Tensions are high. Everyone's mad. I get that. But the past, that's not going to change the past. The emotions and debates and all these things are not going to change what happened. There's good and the evil. There's good and there's evil in the world. There's the Lord. There's the devil. And then you have mankind, which is in between us. The thing is, is that Donald Trump is the only politician who will not accept the results of the elections when he loses. 2016 didn't really count because he won. Now, you know, like I said, the past is the past, but I've talked about this in other videos too. You can go check it out. You can just go on YouTube and type in Mr. Shoutout Politics 2020. 2024 whatever you want to type in that's up to you some of my videos will come up you can click on it watch it listen for yourselves but the thing is whether you support one person or the other it doesn't change the fact that whoever gets elected or re-elected it is what it is the half the country they could protest all they want they can do what they want but they won't change the outcome of the election and if Kamala Harris gets elected Donald Trump needs to accept the results and he needs to accept that he lost and concede just like everybody else has he never conceded to Joe Biden he's not going to concede to Kamala Harris if she gets elected if she wins the election and remember it's not a matter of how they win the elect it's not a matter of them winning an election it's how they win the election you guys gotta play pay close attention to that pay attention because Kamala Harris they're already calling her Madam President, and she's not even elected yet. They really should wait till 2025, to, if she's in office, to call her Madam President. Because she'll be the first female president in U.S. history to step foot in that Oval Office. And this time, if she's elected, it won't be as Vice President, it'll be President. She'll be the boss in the White House. But she still has to go through... And her vice president, it sounds like it's going to be a man. She worked for Joe Biden. It's the time a man works for a woman now in the White House. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you guys agree or disagree with what I'm saying? And with the election results, type in the comments below. And there's no evidence that it's being rigged. Because if there was, everybody would be talking about it. Even other countries.